foremost, the State Committee. Uh, I will tell you, I know you took this decision seriously. This was your vote today. I know you took it seriously because for the last couple of months, people have opened up their homes, they've opened up their business, have gotten to know all the candidates here. And that's why I'm so proud to have your support today. Uh, you know, people often talk about being a candidate, and being a I'll tell you, being a candidate is great. I mean, I've gotten to meet new and interesting people across the state, I've gotten to know new businesses, new industries, but it is, it is tough on families. Um, you know, it's a lot of nights in hotels, it's a lot of nights getting out after midnight, getting the uh, leave before the kids get up. And for those who don't know, I have three young children, one of which is four months old and hasn't quite passed through sleeping through the night. And I couldn't do it without the undying support of my wife. I don't know where she went, but thank you, Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. I love you. <laughs> Governor Corbett will not get an I love you, but he certainly will get a thank you. Uh, in this process, and to Chairman uh, Gleason, Bob Asher, who's team friend, you guys have a thankless job. So today, I'd like to thank you for all you do for this party and for this country. A special thanks to Wayne, Ethan, and uh, Val, who have encouraged us every step of the way. Now it's time to unite. Unite not just as a party, but as a conservative movement, because the battle ahead of us is large, and the other side, don't fool yourself, the other side is engaged. They are well-funded, they are well-organized, and they know the stakes that are in front of us. They know what we know, which is we're at a crossroads as a country. Too many where Americans out of work, too many people struggling to stay in their homes. And when we look at Washington, we see red ink as far as the eye can see. When I look at Washington, I see career politicians that just don't have a clue. Don't have a clue how this economy works. And that has to change. It has to change now. And in Pennsylvania, in 2012, we can change it. Because the road to the White House runs through Pennsylvania. The road to control the Senate run through Pennsylvania. And in this campaign, we are going to have a stark contrast. A stark contrast between myself and Bob Kingston. We're going to talk about our values, our shared vision, in which we empower uh, the entrepreneurial spirit of America, and empower Americans to use their God-given talents and creativity to go out and create products and services that people need. We're going to contrast that with Bob Casey's big government agenda that actually hurts the same people it claims to protect. It's entertaining when you look at Bob Casey. What he ran on in 2006 and what he is today, they are two totally different people. He talked about being an independent voice. I'm sorry, Bob Casey is nothing more than a rubber stamp for Barack Obama. And I will make sure that the people of Pennsylvania know that. Now, Bob Casey is going to ride and try to run a campaign about who he isn't. And in his defense, he doesn't have much of a choice. But I'm going to run a campaign about who I am. From the very first day of this campaign, we've been honest with the voters in this room and across the state about my partisan past. Because I believe it's important for us to be honest as a party that in Washington over the last decade, in a lot of ways, the Republican Party got away from its conservative principles. We let government spending grow rampant, we let uh, earmarks get out of control, and we let corruption run rampant. And it cost us. It cost us not only uh, as a country, but it cost us as a party. Hundreds of thousands of people left this party over the last uh, couple of years. And, and let's be honest, perhaps we're not something I like. But when I saw the Obama Casey agenda, when I saw Harry Reid and Nancy Pelosi, Pelosi pushing us to the left, I didn't just come running back. I came running back with inventions. I came running back dedicated to making sure that as a party we never stray from our principles again. And I wasn't alone. Across this country, thousands of people got engaged for the first time. Engaged in the Tea Party Revolution of 2010. A, a revolution that brought Tom Cook into the government. Uh, elected Pat Toomey and helped us win up and down the state. And if we're going to win in 2012, we have to take that same fight, that same energy, because the stakes are even higher this time. And if we stick to our principles of limited government, more freedom, traditional family values, fidelity to the Constitution, we will not only defeat Obama and Casey, we will instill our values in the White House. Our values in the new Republican control of majority. That's right. Second chances in life are a lesson. And in 2010, as a party, we were given the second chance to govern. And as your nominee for U.S. Senate, I will work every corner of the state, making sure we win back those voters we lost over the last couple of years. And I win them back in my story. Not just my political story, my personal story. I'm starting a business from scratch, the part they sent to my name, building it into a business, a manufacturing company, and now helping others do that same exact thing. 
You know, as, as you get away from America, and, and I've spent a lot of time in the last few years overseas, the more you look at America from afar, the more you realize it's uniqueness. The more you realize it's exceptionalism. And I will tell you, don't believe the hype about India and China. We are still the most productive. We are still the most innovative society the world has ever seen. But it won't be that way forever if we let Bob, Bob Gates and Bob Obama continue to bankrupt us. My friends, the stakes are high, and I am committed to fighting with every fiber of my being every hour of every day for the next six or next ten months until November 6th. But I cannot do this alone. I need the commitment of each, each and every one of you. This is an uphill battle, don't mistake it. But together, Together we can grow the party. Together we can win elections. And most importantly, together we can win the hearts and minds of Pennsylvanians, which will allow us to move policy forward and restore our values.